Medical practitioners in Kenya are required to formally ask those getting vaccinated who their next of kin is, a simple question which has been enough to put Leshinga off taking the vaccine. Leshinga urged that to him, that means that this vaccine cannot give you a long life, and they know it and that's why they are asking them for their next of kin, because this vaccine is going to reduce your years of life. Leshinga commands the respect of many of his tribe's people, who have also refused to take a COVID-19 vaccine, despite it being offered free of charge by Kenya's Minister of Health from supplies donated by the UK government. In Africa, less than 2% of the population on the continent of 1.3 billion people is fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Vaccine shortages continue to plague many African countries, and hospitals in Kenya are seeing more deaths due to COVID-19, but vaccine hesitancy remains a major challenge facing many African countries. Stephen Letpei, a clinical officer at one of the remote health centers that caters to members of the Maasai community, says hesitancy comes from Kenya's colonial past, which may be an indirect way of colonizing us again by maybe controlling birth of Kenyans. If Africa continues to proceed at such a slow pace with its vaccination program, it could have the effect of prolonging the pandemic internationally, especially in remote areas in Kenya's Maasai land where foreign tourists and Maasai interact.